there are quite a few different types of potentiometers out there. You've got a rotary one, like this, which you turn. You've got a slider one, which you kind of see in volume and stereos and things like that. And there's also one that you can make yourself called a ribbon controller. Now you can buy these obviously as well but um, they're pretty simple to make and it gives you a really good understanding of how a pot works. So what is a ribbon controller? Well it's pretty much potentially on just like this one without the slider and you use your finger instead. So you can run your finger along this conductive plastic here which is called Virostat and get different resistance values depending on where your fingers are. Underneath this bit of plastic is a piece of copper, just like this one. And then that plastic sits on top and there's some other plastic underneath just to protect it and raise it off this copper ground. To demonstrate it, I made this little synth here. Just out of 4049 CMOS chip, a 386 just to give it a bit of, bit of sound. Um, pretty simple circuit. I've put this. I'll put the schematic up now. Um, but it's a great way just to test your river controller once you've made it. So I'll plug this in. So now we have the river controller connected to the output of this little synth that I made. You can start playing it. Now I've also added some solder points here, but I decided to go with the little input jack just so it's a bit more versatile. So you could just build this into the synth that you're making. You wouldn't need the bit of wood or anything else. You just build the ribbon controller directly into your synth, but you can hear right up to the high note to a low note. you to play it. It's pretty cool. This is about, I think it's around 100k, so from about 10k there to about 100k resistance here around this length. So you would double it, then you're going to get 200, keep on going. Um, next thing I think about making is maybe putting it into a theremin and maybe having um, an LDR control with one hand and to play it with the other hand as well, make a bit of an instrument out of this. But it's a lot of fun to build easy to build. Um, check out the link in the description. It's to my instructable page and I'll tell you how to make one yourself. Pretty straightforward. You don't need much. Um, and it really gives you a good understanding of how a pot works and, and, and the, the way that they work. So... So anyhow, I uh, want to make your own. Check it out. Uh, a lot of fun and I'm sure I'm going to have some fun building these interesting synths in future projects. Cheers!